So I'd like to talk about white supremacy. Because <laughs> science and fiction and fantasy is my favorite genre. There's no difference in any of us, except for the fact that some of us are too stupid to realize there's no difference in any of us. What happened to us, man? When did this rise up again? I see these guys protesting. Don't you want to just go up to these white supremacist protesters and just go, uh, guys, uh, I, I, I got a question. Uh, really? <laughs> Do you really think you're the master race? Do you really think you're the supreme beings? Then I got another question. Um, shouldn't you be able to handle a sunny day? Because I believe a supreme being would take power from the thing that keeps everything on the planet alive instead of always having to wear a swim shirt. <laughs> Oh, white supremacy is such an oxymoron. Heavy on the moron, by the way. <laughs> Seriously, really? They, and the guys that claim it, really? Really? Are you the best examples of white supremacy, really? Are they, are they, are, oh my God, are they what the best? In, in a case to prove white supremacy, we would call these guys in as witnesses for the prosecution. <laughs> no, we're not going to ask you a question. Just talk. We'll get it. <laughs> Listen, if you were supreme... Bubba E. Lee Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Maybe you could have studied quantum physics like Katherine Johnson did. Katherine Johnson was the woman that figured out the math, yes, <laughs> to get men to the moon and back. There was a thousand white dudes at NASA, couldn't figure it out. This black lady walked in and went, I wrote this on a napkin. Is this going to work for everybody? <laughs> yes. If, if you were supreme, Grand Wizard Tucker Carlson Hitler? <laughs> Maybe you could have finished college like Philip Emigali. Philip Emigali is a Nigerian dude, invented the world's fastest supercomputer. 3.6 billion calculations per second. Yes, and because of this amazing black man, Bubba, you now get to watch porn on your cell phone during your lunch break at the roofing job. <laughs> if you were supreme, Sean Ted Nugent Cruz Hannity, <laughs> Maybe you could walk the world with courage and calm and wouldn't be so scared out of your mind all the time you needed to carry an AR-15 into an Applebee's. I don't think a supreme being needs hollow point ammunition to protect his chili fries. <laughs> if you were supreme, Andrew Kyle Rittenhouse, Jim Jordan Jackson, Maybe instead of trying to overthrow the government, you could just come up with some plans and ideas that would make the people that voted for you the first time vote for you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird, right? The GOP's got a problem right now. All right, guys, we need more minorities to vote for us, but we hate minorities. Ideas? <laughs> If you were supreme, David Duke, James Woods, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Maybe you could be like James E. West, the black man invented this microphone. I'm currently ripping your ass on right now. <laughs> White supremacy? The people denying global warming can't go outside in it. <laughs> There's going to be angry bacon sizzling on the beach so the oceans finally rise above them. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> if you were supreme, you could dunk. <laughs> if you were supreme, Brian Kemp, Brett Favre, Kramer. <laughs> Maybe you could live in a world that didn't threaten your sad belief that you were better than someone of another color. Let's go through history. Every race of people has done it as good as Whitey. Latinos, Asians, blacks, every single one has done it. I will say this, Whitey did steal their ideas most of the time and make the most profit of it. <laughs> and that's critical race theory. <laughs> All those people who did it better than Whitey, science, manufacturing, technology, music! <laughs> they all did it while they were being oppressed by one of these hamburger-eating, insurrection goatee, having diabetic strokes waiting to happen. So, to all you white supremacists, I'm going to issue you an invite right now. 
uh, how about you put down the weapon, take off the tactical vest. It doesn't even cover the bottom four inches of your bubble gun. <laughs> Get an education, study some science, and then come join the rest of us here on the planet Earth. The planet, by the way, that's only 10% Caucasian. That's got to make your butt pucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I know. I know it feels like 98% Caucasian down at boot scootin' night down at the hoedown holler. <laughs> only 98% because there's always two Guatemalan busboys, goddammit. <laughs> But on the planet, us alabaster Aryans are barely pushing 10%. How's that feel, Bryce? <laughs> so to all you white supremacists, why don't you calm down? Stop thinking like this. Join the rest of us and we can all rise up together. Or you better start impregnating every pasty skank you can and start popping out crackers like the saltine company. <laughs> Personally, I'm going to judge people on who they are, on their integrity, their character, and how they leave a green light. Go! Fuck. <laughs>